Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to showcase all the levels in the Anime Fighting Simulator X Fighting Pass. So to access the Fighting Pass, all you have to do is just go to the little button in the corner and then click on it and you'll see the Fighting Pass. And this is actually introduced in the brand new update, but you do have to buy this with 500 Robux unless you want to use the free pass. Alright, so now that we bought that, we don't have to level up, so instead we could just buy the levels instead with Robux. Usually I don't really go pay to win, but it's just for this video, so let's get this started. Alright, so we'll just skip 20 levels for now, and let the showcase begin. So first up, we have Clown. So this is Buggy the Clown, and it's a brand new champion. So let's go check out his things. So at first let's go to champions and then we can see his stats. He only gives times 0.22 durability, so he's actually kind of bad. But the champion does look pretty cool in fact. This is what the model looks like. And as you can see he only gives barely any durability. But this is pretty good for a starting like reward for the fighting pass. Next up let's go to the next few items. Now we just have some Chikara and then we have our first special of the fighting pass, which is Naval. Also, make sure to claim your other items too. So let's showcase Naval. So first up, we have the Z-Move. And you actually do need to grind up Mastery, you don't get all the moves at once. So this is Z-Move, Supernova. And just press Z, and it sends out a beam. It's pretty cool, it's alright. And then next up, we have the X-Move, Naval Buffet. So this just sends out like two beams. Then we have Naval Thrust, and this basically just propels you with like the beam. And I'm not gonna lie, this quirk is pretty mid, but it's okay since it's only the level 3 um, reward. But yeah, I would definitely not recommend using this because it's not really that good. But without further ado, let's get back to the showcases. Okay, so next up we have the brand new Jotaro pose. And this is actually part of the free pass, so you don't have to pay Robux for this. this what this is is like idle animation. Just go to your inventory and basically just go to animations. And then you can click equip, and then as you see, we get this sick new pose. I actually really like this, it actually looks pretty cool. And yeah, I'm definitely, yeah, I'd like to use this in the future for sure. Alright, next up we have Thunder Nitrin. So this is a sword skin, just like the old game. And so basically you can put skins on your sword to make it look different from the other one. So this is basically Zenitsu's katana. And as you can see, it has a yellow highlight, so this is the Thunder Breathing katana. It's actually pretty cool, I like the model a lot. And yeah, that's pretty neat. Let's go to the next item. So next up we have an accessory which is actually called Soul King Crown. And let's see the effects of this. First, with all the specials and everything, just go to accessories, and then click it. So it gives us 2% increase to critical damage and 25% increased damage to critical damage. So you barely get any critical attacks, so I don't think this is really that good. But it does look really cool though. So if you do want to use it, then yeah, I would say go for it. Looks pretty cool. And yeah. Alright. So next up, we have the Mitsuri Champion. So if you guys don't know who Mitsuri is, Mitsuri is the Hashira from Demon Slayer. And let's just claim her real quick. Alright, so let's just go to Champion and see her effects. So this is an epic with a times of 0.25 strength and speed train. So this is pretty cool, and the character model looks pretty good, but I don't think it's better than Madara, so I'm probably not going to be using that. And it's definitely not better than any mythicals, but it does look pretty cool. Alright, on to the next thing. So next up, we actually got a brand new animation, and this is a vertical push-up. So push-ups are usually used for durability, so this is just going to be a durability um, animation. So as you can see, when you press 2, then we actually start like doing vertical push-ups, and this actually looks really cool. It's like the Rock Lee push-up. I actually really like how it looks. But yeah, on to the next thing. So right after that, we actually have a Docky Ribbon, which is actually really cool if you want to summon Gutaro. But then we actually have a brand new breathing called Insect Breathing. And this is actually pretty cool. I want to showcase this. Alright, so first off, let's start. So first we have the Z move, which is called Dart Strike. It has some pretty little butterflies, which actually looks pretty nice. Then we have Crushing Sting, which basically like propels you up and then you could just like come down for an attack. And these are just what the M1s look like. I don't think there's anything different there. And then we have a thousand stings. And that's pretty cool. So that's all the moves for Insect Breathing. Next up, we have Open Eye Snake. So this is a brand new accessory, and let's go check out what it does. So to equip this, just go to accessories, and then go here. And then it gives 5% chance to dodge, and 25% increase to all chakra attacks. So this is actually insanely OP, and the snake looks really cool too. So I definitely recommend using this, because this is probably like one of like the best things, because like no other things like um basically boost your chakra damage that much. That makes it really good. Next up, we have Sin Blade. 
Sinblade is another sword skin, and if you don't know where the sword's from, it's from Seven Deadly Sins, and it's from Meliodas. It's actually pretty cool. Let's just land here real quick, and then we can start showcasing the sword. Alright, so now let's just go over it and equip it. Alright, so this is what the sword skin looks like. So now all you have to do is just go to sword skins, and then just press equip. So as you can see, this is what the blade looks like, and it actually looks pretty neat. But sword skins are only skins and they don't give any other like boost or anything. This is what it looks like, and I think it looks pretty decent. But I'd probably recommend using the katanas because they just look cooler, but it's all just like a preference. Alright, so next up we have the Dio pose. So this is another idle animation similar to the Jotaro animation. So what you basically want to do is just go over to animations and then just press equip. And as you can see, the pose actually looks pretty sick. And like this just because like all JoJo's Bizarre Adventure pose just looks the best. I actually think I'm gonna use this. It actually looks really cool. And I think it also changes like your idle walk too. But we'll have to see about that. But yeah, that looks really cool. Alrighty. Next up we have the bicorn. This is basically a brand new horse mount. And to my like to my knowledge, like it's actually like super fast. Alright, let's go test it out. And as you can see the model looks really cool. And wow, we're like zooming right now. <laughs> This is actually an insanely fast mount. I think this might be one of the best mounts in the game right now. Wow, just look at it. It's just going super fast. I think this might be faster than the YT bike. And that's like an exclusive only given to YouTubers. So that's like pretty cool. And yeah, let's just go land on land real quick. And then let's see the other tiers. But yeah, this is like an extremely cool mount. I think I'm probably going to use this. Alright, next up we have the Broly armor. And this is actually pretty cool because I think it's an accessory. But before we do that, we need to unlock the next 10 tiers real quick. And if you want to learn like how to get fighting past EXP, I think you just do daily quests. And that's how you get EXP. Alright, let's just go to accessories real quick. And then we can equip the, the Broly armor. And this is pretty cool because I think it buffs damage or, or buffs your HP too. And all strength based attacks. So this is pretty neat. And this is what the armor looks like. I think it's pretty cool, but there are some better. Alright, next up, we have a brand new champion. This champion is Dio. And as you can see, those are the effects right there. He increases all strength by 2%, and there's a chance that he'll stop time. So this is actually pretty cool. Let's go summon him real quick. And he actually gives really good passives. Time 0.3 for all the stats. And th yeah, that's really good. I actually did catch a clip of him stopping time, so here it is. <laughs> Yeah, this has this ability has like a two percent chance to play out. So I'm actually really lucky I was able to catch that on camera. And yeah, that's the Dio champion. I actually really like that champion. Next up, we have a brand new stand named Cream. And I forgot what the actual thing was in the anime, but let's go showcase it. So this is what the stand looks like, and it's actually pretty cool. And I forgot what the stand was called, but I think it might be like a Figo stand or something. But that, that's M1 real quick, just a slight little punch, and that's a Z move, neck chop. It's like kind of like a rapid barrage, or like just like a single chop. Then here's the X move, Void Dash. Finally, we have Void Spiral, and I really like all the effects in all these moves. I think it's really cool. Next up, we have Dimension. This basically creates a dimension where your damage by the like, sand is boosted by a lot. And this is really OP because, as, as you can see, we did like 1k damage a punch. And that's like insanely OP. But yeah. That's the start showcase for cream. All right, next up we have flame nutrient. So this is like a brand new sword skin, and it's also like a the thunder nutrient. It's basically like Rengoku sword. And as you can see, this is what the model looks like. It actually looks pretty cool. It has a red highlight, and I think I'm probably gonna use this because I used to like grind like a lot of tournament points in the old one just to get that skin. Next up we have black leg. So black legs like a brand new animation for punching, or for when you're training strength. So let's go equip it real quick. Just go straight to animations and then black leg. And let's just try m one real quick. And as you see, instead of using your fist to train strength, it actually uses your legs. Just like Sanji in One Piece. It actually looks really cool. But I don't think I'm going to be using it because it looks kind of lame. But it's cool. So next up we have the Emperor Cape. But before we do that, we need to unlock the last few tiers. I think there's only like 40 tiers, so like, is that kind of like saving my Robux, but it's still like $50 worth of Robux. So watch out for that. And then we have Emperor Cape. So I think this is actually an insanely OP thing, because it gets 25% increased to sword, 20% increased to health, and it does more. And it's basically like, um, like an Admiral Cape, I believe, or like a Pirate Cape from One Piece. 
It actually looks pretty cool and also like damage like boost your damage by a lot too. And as you can see, just boost fruit damage too and it's like insanely OP. Alright, next up we have King's Pillow. So this is a brand new mount, I believe, and I think it's also from 7 Daily Sins. Someone correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. But let's press control and see what it looks like. And I actually really like how this looks because you're basically flying on a pillow. Like how cool is that? And yes, it has some decent speed, but other mounts are faster, so we'll be using other mounts. But this actually looks pretty cool. It's like pretty visually appeasing. But yeah, I really like this. I actually think it's like pretty decently cool. And I like the like all the little highlight. I think it's pretty raw. Alright, now we have the final champion, Shanks. Or in the game, Shanks, because of copyright. But this actually has a bunch of effects because he actually buffs your sword damage by like 30 or 20%. And then he actually like has like a chance to activate Conqueror's Hockey. But it's not his own Conqueror's Hockey, so you will still have a cooldown. But that's still pretty cool. Let's go test it out. So I think it's like, as you can see, it just happens just like that. So that's pretty nice. And it also gives a plus 15 walk speed. So if you pair that with like 4th gate, then you could walk really fast. But once you have mounts, then I would recommend using mounts. That's pretty cool. Finally, we have Samehata, which is the final sword skin. And I actually really like how this looks. And first up, let's go equip it. So all you have to do is basically just go to sword skins and then equip Samehata. So this actually looks pretty cool. And it has a little blue highlight. It's like Kasame sword from Naruto, I think. So if you feel like an Akatsuki, just go ahead and like go for it. I actually think it looks pretty neat. But yeah, looks pretty raw. And I like the little teeth. Because it is like a, just like a shark or something, I think. Finally, we have the level 40 Buddha fruit. And this is the most overpowered special in the game right now. And let's just equip it real quick. And why is it not letting me equip? Let's try eating it. Oh, okay. So we basically have to remove our fruit first. So if you don't know how to equip Buddha, let me show you. All you have to do is basically just go over to Rayleigh. He was over there, so near the corner, just go to the library and turn left, and then go to the Relay NPC. He's actually right here. And then what you want to do is actually press E, and then reset your Devil Fruit for 5k Chikara. And as you see, now that the Gum Gum Fruit is gone from my inventory, we can go to our inventory back and equip Buddha now. And once we press 6, we can equip it. And whoa, this looks really cool. Wow, the devs really outdid themselves. Like, this looks insane. And this is the Z move. And yeah, let's just grind this up a bit and then I'll showcase this. Alright, so this is what the form looks like. It actually looks pretty cool. It, like sparkles a little and has a huge like hitbox. So first up we have the C move, Twilight of the Gods. And as you can see this is just insanely OP. It has a massive hitbox and basically can eliminate any NPCs on the entire map. Next up we have Heavy Impact. And I really like how this move looks. It looks really clean. Finally, we have Divine Retribution. And yeah, overall, this special is insanely OP. If you want to like AFK grind, like it only took me like 20 minutes to get to like Mastery 80. So just make sure to use this if you want to AFK grind. And yeah, that's all the level showcase in Anime Fighting Simulator X, the Fighting Pass. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe because that would help me out a lot. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time.